All right, I want to do a quick video about ash reds. I hear a lot of confusion online about these. Ash reds can be split for blue. You see this, this blue, these blue flecks, the blue feathers, the blue dots. That means that it is split for blue. It also means that it's a cock. However, having said that, not all ash red cocks are split for blue. You can have an ash red cock that is just ash red and won't show any flecking whatsoever. Here's another one right here. This is an ash red bar grizzle. These flecks do mean it's split for blue. That is because with pigeons, there's three base colors. No matter what you see, whether it be a print, a recessive red, a black, it doesn't matter. There's three base colors. There's a brown, blue, and ash red in that order of dominance. Ash red being the most dominant. So ash red can carry blue because if it has an ash red gene, it's going to show it and it shows the blue and it does the same with brown from what I hear. I've never actually seen an ash red split for brown. Now you can't have a blue split for ash red or a brown split for ash red. Now, the hen always gives her color gene to the cock and the cock gives, the cock has two spots for color, the hen has one. So the cock gives one of his two to the hen. Now, this cock, an ash red split for blue, bred to just a regular ash red bar, all your blues are gonna be hens because the hen is ash red. She can only have one gene for color, so she has no blue. If the hen is ash red, she's ash red. She has to give that to the cock. Now the cock can either give an ash red gene to the hen or he can give his blue gene. So if I breed this cock to an ash red bar hen, 25% of my, 50% of my hens will be blue, will just be blue bars. What else do I need to say? 50% of the cocks will be split for blue? Yes, and then 50% of the cocks will be split for blue like this, but 50% of the cocks will just be pure, because they'll get one ash red gene from the cock and one from the hen, so they won't show the flecking at all. I see people online all the time say, oh, if your ash red doesn't have blue flecks, it's a hen, or it's not a cock, and that's just not always the case. Now, lots of the time, people breed these to blue bars, and then if you do that, you're always going to get them split. This guy right here, this is a cream bar, which is the same as this, just with the dilute gene. It's the same gene that turns a blue bar to a silver bar. He has no flecking at all. He is pure. He's pure red. Look at, look at this guy here. This is an ash red bar. Pet grizzle. Pet spread. Not almond. It is not an almond, yes. The reason why he has so much flecking is because he has the spread gene. The spread gene is the same gene that turns a blue to a black, and it spreads the tail bar. So it hits some flecks on the tail and just spread it all over. Baby's fleck. Oh, and yeah, you can see flecking. I also hear people say you don't see the flecking until they mold. I don't have any ash red babies right now. Well, this one's still pretty young, but yes, you can more. clearly see the flecking. Matter of fact, when they got it on the, the quill like that, you can see it before the feather even comes out. You can see the blue on it. Look at that. Big fleck there. If you were an ash red cock split for blue to a blue hen, you get ash red cocks and you also get blue cocks. Yes. But that's it. You can have ash reds not split for blue.